All right, welcome to the Hire My VA Team and Business Building Podcast, where we help you to reclaim your freedom through hiring and thriving with virtual assistants without breaking the bank. And what we're talking about is your bank, which is the most important bank to you. My bank is more important than your bank to me, but anyway, um, without breaking the bank, any bank. <laughs> All right, I'm go. Dave Braun, and as usual, I'm here with Larry Broughton, who's my fantastic, awesome friend and mentor buddy who's traveling through life with me yeah. and not to mention he's coached thousands of entrepreneurs to become successful, not only in their business, but in their lives as well. So Larry say hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, you? handsome Dave. How are yeah, you? I'm my doing, friend. I'm doing, I'm doing great. Oh, what a great. productive day today. I've had holy macaroni. I hope you're yeah. a good one too. So why has it been productive? Just knocking stuff off the uh, the to do list, and you know I've I've had some really good morning routines the last few days, and really finding you know joy and trust, you know those are big things. Um, yeah, so they've been, you know, the way I start my day tends to be the way it finishes. You know, so okay. I start out with a good positive uh, affirmations and readings in the morning. The day tends to flow that way. I think we need to do an episode on morning routines and designing let's do it i'm gonna write that down as a as a subject coming up but i bet that's not the topic of our conversation today no it's not sorry folks (laughs) (laughs) psych all right what's our question this week well it's kind of let's go back to the basics a little bit right what's um what are the benefits of a virtual assistant (gasps) are there benefits to a virtual assistant yes Uh, there are Oh my gosh, what are the, that list can go on for a long time, right? I I will start with this though, Dave, two things. Umbrella statement, key benefit is help you find freedom in your life. Yes. In business, business, all right. But before we do that, this might be a good time just to say, hey, you know, you folks know by now, if you follow us for any length of time that Dave, Dave and I run a, um, uh, master class called uh, the victory master class for leaders and entrepreneurs but also we have this program that's part of this the hire my va program and we're starting a white love service um to help you hire or actually we'll hire and present to you candidates for virtual assistants so dave why don't you take a second um because you're really leading that effort for the organization if you could talk for a second about what our white glove service is and then we can kind of lead into what are some specific benefits of uh, hiring a virtual assistant. Do you mind doing that? Yeah, then don't, don't mind at all. So really what it's about is, um, you know, we've, we have this great course and community where you can, you know, like fish for yourself. Um, you can learn how to hire Wait, and to thrive, prepare for hire and thrive with a virtual assistant, right? Through our course and community. But what we found from folks is that some people come in and are like, I just need some help in really, really getting somebody. So we do the heavy lifting for you in finding a Filipino virtual assistant. That's where we specialized. And because so, sometimes people don't even have the time. It yeah. It might be you. You are so in the weeds with your stuff. You right. know, you need help, but you don't have the time to do it. That's what this service is for. So I'm sorry, I keep going. No, that's okay. So basically what we start with is we have a a meeting where we talk about your requirements and, um, you know, and help you with interview questions and all those kind of things. Right. And then we, we figure out, help work with you to figure out who you need. And then we go and we search and we present you up to three candidates. You do some quick interviews, select one, and then we guide you on how to onboard them appropriately, how to set up your systems so that you can help manage them. Right. And then what we do is we make sure we have a check in with you, you know, a week or 30 days down the road, depending upon um, what you want and what's best for you. Um, And then, of course, you've got, of course, of course, you have our course, you have our course in community. And once you're in our community, you've got these uh, powerful Q&A's that Larry and I do that you can come on every couple of weeks and, and just ask any question. So what other folks do is they give you a virtual assistant and then they hand you a document and say, bye, see ya, good luck with your VA. Right. I mean, that works for some folks, but that's not what we're about. We want you to have freedom in your life. We want you to be successful. So we're giving you a, a white glove um, type of treatment, walking you through the prod, through the whole process and helping you to be 
um, successful. Dave, thank you, Dave. You know, this might be the time just to, to mention that, you know, you and I have been using virtual assistants for years. Right. right? And um, we've made mistakes along the way. Mm-hmm. We've had lots of successes, though. The more we do it, the more successful uh, we, we, we become with it. Yeah. But I've heard that there, I guess you can really break it down. There's really two tools, two schools of thought. Okay. Or, um, yeah, two categories on how people think you ought to be hiring your, your first VA. One school of thought says your first VA needs to be a general, a general VA who mm-hmm. can do a bunch of things for you to help you free up time, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Another school of thought that says, no, your first VA needs to be really task specific and so, an area that you're not good at and get them in just to, to do it. My thought is, well, there's yeah. two, sco- two schools of thought because there's not universal thinking on it. And so it all depends on what your needs are. Right. What do you what are your thoughts on the two school two schools uh, of thought? Yeah, my my thoughts are what um, and we've talked about this in other podcasts, Larry, yeah. is we want you to achieve freedom. All right. And yeah. part of that freedom is not necessarily time freedom that would come eventually. But part sure. of that freedom is that you're free um, to just enjoy your business. Um, and to make a big difference for folks. Mm-hmm. So it depends upon where you are in your business. If you feel like that enjoyment, that freedom, that, um, you know, help, helping to leave a legacy, if you think that going to um, a specific role-based first would work best for you, then, that, then that's what you need. Maybe. If you're at the point where it's like, oh, I enjoy so much of what I do, but I just hate these few little tasks. I got to get them off my plate so I can do more of what I'm great at. Then that's, then that's what you start with. Yeah. And we, we help you with this in the prepare portion of the, the program. Right. Right. And what we need to remember is that sometimes you're just hiring a short term VA. Yeah. Somebody for a month to get this project across the finish line. Other people may say, I want to hire somebody that I'm going to be working with five years from now. Wouldn't that be awesome? (laughs) Right. So it's really going to come down to what your needs and desires are. And so this might be a time to start with the first benefit, but it comes out of a tool that we provide all of our coaching um, and mentoring clients. And it's part of all of our programs. And that is the the famous three column exercise. That's right. right. Where you come up with a list of everything that you're doing. And I mean, everything that you're doing is in the far left column, right? Um, everything you're doing, whether you like it, love it, hate it, are good at it, stuff that you're doing, everything from I'm counting cash to going to the bank to picking up this at the store to reconciling that or doing inventory, whatever it is, everything goes in that column. You take a deep breath and that, cause that's going to be a long list, right? And then you take a breath and then in the middle column, you're going to put great at not good at not okay at, but great at yes. so everything that's in that right column that you're great at, you're going to move it over to the center column. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guess what else you're going to put in that center column? You put down things that you're great at that you currently aren't doing. Mm. There might be things that you're great at that you're not doing because you don't have time. Right. To do them. So everything now in the center column is things that you're great at. And that is very likely going to be a much shorter list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, thank you, Larry, (laughs) for that. You're going to take a deep breath. And then in the far right column, You're going to move everything that's in that center column over to the right column that you love, Mm -hmm. that you love, that you love love doing. Mm -hmm. These are things, the idea is this, I want you to get, imagine your life if you're spending 60% of your time or more doing things that you're great at and that you love. Your life and your business would be completely different, right? And if you can get your entire team doing that, right? So the reality, Dave, is this. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but everything comes from this first exercise, all the other benefits, right? And that's this. Um, there are a lot of people that are great at and love doing all of those things that you hate or that you're not good at. Yes. That's the benefit of hiring a VA because you could hire VAs now to do all those things that you're not great at and that you don't love doing. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do them much more efficiently than you would ever do. And so you'll see your productivity go up and everyone on the team's productivity will go up. 
if you can get things exactly. off their plate that they're not great at and that they don't love. Yep. So I know that was a big setup, but I think all the other benefits are going to fall from this. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. And the great thing about that exercise is that while you um, spend a little bit of time up front, this is part of the prepare mm -hmm. part of our um, course. While you spend some of that time up front, you, you have that with you and it, it lasts for a long time. You know, maybe when you're going to your second or your third virtual assistant or going and rehiring your first, you go back and I think Larry, what you call it, you dust it off, that's, that's right. <laughs> right? Yeah. You review it. So it's, it's, it's something that uh, you do once and you, you tweak it a little bit, but the, the hard work is up front, but it sure. pays off. It's really what you've got to do yeah. um, to be successful with this. Right. Yeah. 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 So we talked about really the first couple of uh, benefits are offloading stuff that you don't want to do or hate doing right from your three column exercise, yeah. right? Yeah. Or the things that number two is offloading tasks that you aren't the greatest at. And, you know, you might, your business or your life may be surviving by you doing it, but you can up level that by letting somebody else do those things. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. right? So those are the first couple um, right there. So give me yeah. another one, Larry. Well, um, it kind of, it's the, the third one comes out of the, the second one. If you think about, well, gosh, if I'm no longer doing these things that I'm not good at and that I don't like doing, what am I going to do with that free time? You and I were on a coaching call <laughs> oh, <laughs> yesterday yeah. where somebody said, well, what am I going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're going to do things. You're going to, uh, you're going to be doing things that you're really great at and you're going to be doing the high value things that impact your business. You're going to do the strategic thinking for the organization, right? You're going to do things that you're great at, you know, and oftentimes those things are, you're probably the person who developed the product or the service on which your business is based, right? right? You can do that. You can do client acquisition. Rarely is, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is accurate, rarely is the um, founder or owner of the business uh, not a good face for the organization. Yeah. You've got the passion for what you do. And so you can start doing that stuff now. Yeah. So you can bring real, real value. You can work on the high value task in the so organization. Like, so you're kind of walking yourself from doing like $10 an hour tasks to, you know, a hundred dollar an hour yeah. to a thousand to $10,000 yeah. an hour type tasks. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so when you're doing that and now you've got a team of VAs or, you know, in person in your office and VAs, you know, you've now got margin in your life to do what's probably the thing that many of you have been putting off for a long time, Dave. And guess what you think? Guess where, guess where I'm going with this? Hmm. Starts with a V maybe? Or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like taking time off, vacation, yeah, vacation. time, T spending time with your family and your friends, with your growing family. You may be at a point where you're going to have starting young grandchildren, Dave, right? Um, and it, yeah. imagine where you would be, Dave, if you had not done this you built your team of rockstar VAs, you know, cause you've gotten pretty deliberate over the years. You have time that you take off and you can take off now because mm -hmm. you have VAs and you've got this new grandchild. Yeah. On the way. I don't know if you guys can read that, but right there it says grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we had a, we had a client who um, successful with, with hiring and her main focus was she was going to, you know, she wanted to spend more time with her family. She has little kids and then um, she had to up level her game because she had a second kid. Right. So she wanted to spend this time getting um, her family, you know, foundation from her family and taking a lot of time off of work. Mm -hmm. And she could do that because she built a team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. What, what's another one? Some well, kind of, you know, we talked about brain? some some of the th some of the things. You know, and maybe the fifth thing is, you know, we talked about things that you're great at, but you know, you can simply work on things that are more fun for you. Yeah, uh, you know, just you know, maybe I want to spend a half a day reading this this my favorite business book again, or I'm going to spend a day. Um, you know, doing some research into something, you know, whatever yeah. it is that, that floats your boat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like that one because it kind of sets up this next one that comes to mind, Dave, is that I have found that when I do take time off, when I do do fun things, I just said, do, do my, my young son, <laughs> son would have caught that. 
Okay. Um, I'm not, I'm not young anymore. <laughs> when I take time to do fun things, when I take time to do um, creative things and it leads me into a more creative space and helps me to think more strategically and come up with ideas to work on my business and not so stuck in my business on doing the tactical things of just surviving, right? right. Some of those really important things that we should be spending time on as uh, entrepreneurs, leaders, business owners, new services, new offers, new products, better way to deliver them. You know, how do I create more value for my clients? How do I deal with pain points that are in the organization? Yeah. If I don't have emotional freedom and creativity, I don't have the bandwidth to deal with these really critical topics. Um, so that's one of the key benefits and probably one of the most powerful benefits. Yes. Right. Cause if you're not doing this, you're not bringing value to your team, your, your clients. If you're not bringing value to your clients, it's, you're not going to be around for very long. Yeah. When I, when I first thought, heard about this one, when somebody said it once and it was like, oh my gosh, I got to go hire a virtual assistant right away. This was the key, um, benefit that caused me to want to hire somebody. Yeah. 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 Well, which leads me, cause I, I can, I remember when you started this business, Dave, um, and there's a client that I mentioned oftentimes, um, and you, you're going to know it's going to be good on this path that once she hired her first team oh. member. Yeah. Right. You know, I'm going with this. She felt like, Oh my gosh, now I'm really in business. This isn't a hobby anymore. Yeah. And now I've got someone that I can brainstorm with. I can bounce ideas off of, I don't feel like I'm in the boat by myself, you know, rowing. Now I've right. got I, I can take turns with, I can hand things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I, I think that having someone else that, that can be a fellow problem solver, um, is pretty powerful. That's a pretty powerful benefit. Oh yeah. And there is, and, and I tell you, it is so nice to, I come across a problem and it's like, oh, I don't know how much of a clue I really have this. To, I don't, I don't have a clue right now. Mm. So you do a quick zoom call with your virtual assistant or you assign it to them and say, Hey, you know, in the next day or two, let's get together and work on it together. Sure. And it's, sure. I mean, that that's actually a lot of fun. That's a lot of, a lot of fun because, yeah. you know, depending on one of my top strengths is I'm a learner. One of the top strengths of my team members are their learners as well. Yeah. So when we're solving these problems together, the level of learning that we're getting from it is just, you know, way up there. Yeah. And I'm really just, is. I'm going to plug you and your um, website development company for a second. It has been so, I, I feel proud when I sit back and look at how much you have grown and your business Thanks. has grown and the quality of the products that you are providing out there. Folks. Yeah. So if you need like a web developer, Dave and his team are awesome. Um, the, there's a lot of stuff for us and some, for some of our other clients, uh, as well. And, um, I don't know, it's, it's been really fun to watch you and, and I, I see the, how the sausage is made with you guys, <laughs> yeah. right? The sausage um, sometimes so you, is right. That's right. <laughs> but the product that comes out the other side is so good. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's because you use some really great VAs. How many VAs are in, in your website development company now? Three? Right now there's two of us. We've had okay. three in the past mm -hmm. total. Well, two and of them, you plus two. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. And, it, and it works well. We have our strengths and specialties uh -huh. in there. Yeah. And we've identified that over the course of, you know, years. But then the great thing is, is we get together and we collaborate yeah. because one of the things that, you know, we just recorded a podcast about learning and training. Yeah. Right. And one of the things that we talked about, I talked about with my team is uh, don't just think about how the client thinks. Yeah. Think about how the client's client is thinking, mm -hmm. right? A great way to put it. Sure. Right. Taking it to the next level. And so just by sitting back and looking at things, taking a little bit of extra time, um, it really makes a difference in how we collaborate and some of the solutions that we do for folks. I want to, uh, let me just pause for a second. I want to put a finer point on this so that that's a benefit that we could have just easily passed over. Right. And, and that is that one of the key benefits by having VA is you're going to end up serving your clients better. Yes. Right. That's an important element. When you start yes. thinking, Hey, my VAs are going to help me help my clients clients. 
right? That's powerful. Yes. Right? So serving your clients better through a VA because you're more available and you're not in the weeds doing the admin stuff, you know, or just trying to survive. You're bringing better value to your clients. Yes, uh, totally, totally, totally. We, we're, we're getting a pretty long list here. Do you have one, Dave? You want to help uh, bring this on home? We can offer one or two more. Yeah, maybe the one of the last ones is, you know, you'll be able to expand your business. You, Larry, you talked about up-leveling serving yeah. your clients. Well, yeah. now you'll be able to serve more clients, right? Yeah. You'll be able to bring more. I mean, the, the VAs help you to bring your magic out into the world, well, right? That's a good way to put it, yeah. Your magic out in the world. And they also will help you to bring, bring it to more people, yeah. right? If that's what you want, yeah. right? Making a bigger impact on folks. Yeah. So instead of producing one widget a day, you produce two or three or four. Yeah. Listen, Dave, we could go on and on about this, but what I'd like to do, if you don't mind, let's yeah. shift gears. What benefits have you realized from having a VA? If you've got a VA now, what benefits do you want to get from having a VA? Put it in the comment section below this yeah, video, or if, you, or if you're in the, in the community, in the Hire My VA community, uh, or in, you're in the Victory Masterclass community, put that in the community and let's talk about that. I'd love to hear your yeah. experiences about how virtual assistants have brought value uh, and benefited your organization and your clients. We're all in this together. We're all learning together. Yeah. And even add in there what you hope that the virtual assistant oh, will bring to you. Too. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Good. Well, let's uh, wrap this one up. Thank yeah. you everybody for being with us. And remember yeah. building a team is the way to reclaim your freedom. And of course, we're here to help you, right? With this podcast, with um, our course and community. But right now we want you to do three things. Number one, subscribe to this podcast yes. if you haven't already done so. Number two, give us a rating. And uh, also, you know, and while you're giving us a rating, leave a comment below this video. Um, any comment, ask, ask a question. As Larry mentioned, talk about, you know, a benefit that you may want from a VA um, or benefits that you've realized. So put those comments in. And then number three, go to hiremyva.com for more information on our course and community because, and remember, even without experience, you'll learn how to prepare for hire and thrive with virtual assistants. Larry and I have helped tons of folks and we'd love to um, help you too. So just go to hiremyva.com for more information. Yeah, listen, um, we believe that entrepreneurs, leaders, and high achievers are making a significant impact in the world. Uh, so my friends, if you want to have a life of success, stop chasing chasing success. Success yeah. is a byproduct of a life of significance in my book. So leave you like I always do. God bless you. God keep you. God hold you. All right, my friends, go get them. All right. Later. Bye, everybody.